Hi everybody, this is Dr. John Pitts from the Centennial Shelves Clinic, here to talk to you um, about continuing our series on athletic performance. Uh, so today, I like to talk about stretching and foam rolling, and also compression garments. So, um, you know, who who doesn't like a good massage? You know, it just feels good, makes you feel relaxed, uh, but does it actually do anything as far as helping you recover uh, from sports or injuries whatsoever. Um, and so I looked into this a little bit. Again, I read that good book um, on um, sports recovery, uh, which had some insight, and I did a little research on my own. Uh, there's a lot of claims out there that uh, massage can help clear lactic acid that builds up when you work out uh, and maybe improve your blood flow and lymphatic symptoms. Um, and while it's possible that that stuff may be true, there's really no evidence to support it uh, at this time. Um, there is a little bit of evidence that maybe uh, foam rolling uh, can slightly improve your performance if done beforehand. Uh, it didn't show in this particular study to help with the recovery aspect. And so for those of you who don't know what foam rolling is, um, this is an example of like a foam roller. Uh, they have many types. This is a softer type to maybe start off with if you're a beginner. They have some firmer ones and ones that have little spikes in it that look like little torture devices um, that you can roll on your muscles to kind of loosen them up a little bit, like a little bit of a self-massage. Um, and so uh, these are maybe if you do CrossFit or go to gyms, uh, they might have you do this stuff beforehand. And so it was a little benefit, a little evidence that it may help a little bit beforehand, um, but can't say if it helps a lot after or not. But, you know, certainly no harm in, in it, and there's no evidence that it improves your blood flow or lactic acid or anything like that. Um, and then as far as massage, um, there's actually no good out of evidence that uh, massage helped uh, with recovery a lot. Um, for for massage, uh, actually a shorter little 12 minutes or less massage uh, uh, helped a little bit more than a, a longer massage, which is curious. Um, it also helped in more uh, beginner athletes that weren't really trained or just starting to work out, uh, maybe because they were having a little bit more soreness because they weren't as used to it. So what that tells me is probably if you worked out often and uh, kind of into the swing of things, uh, it may be less needed. Uh, but again, it's something that feels good. It's something that's relaxing. And so anything that helps you relax is a net positive to me. Um, so if you can't afford to get a massage, go to a professional and all that, don't worry. That's okay. Um, just maybe self-massage uh, sore areas for a few minutes. Have your friend or partner uh, self-massage you. Maybe return the favor as a compromise. Um, but if you can afford to go a couple times a, a month to get a good massage just for relaxation, uh, certainly no harm. Uh, and then, you know, maybe do a little foam rolling before uh, or after working out uh, if that feels good to you. Um, so next topic I'm going to move to is uh, compression garments. So these are like uh, tight fit and sock sleeves, shirts. You may see like the basketball players wear the arm sleeves. Those are like the compression garments I'm talking about, like D-Wade, you know. So he had a Hall of Fame career, so how could you argue with that, right? Um, so the thought is that these compression garments uh, will increase blood flow from the muscles to get it back to the heart, to reduce kind of edema or swelling in the muscle. Also, that compression can maybe help improve, uh, reduce the vibration of the muscle, which may be good for, um, you know, fine-tuning the motor skills to improve performance and uh, reduce soreness. So is there any evidence uh, to support this? Well, I looked at two uh, review studies and actually did show that there was some improvement um, and recovery after training um, for the first 24 hours. It was more so with resistance type training. So this is like lifting weights uh, rather than aerobic type training such as um, basketball or running or things like that. So um, again, this is something that's safe. Uh, you know, uh, it could potentially help uh, if you use them. Uh, again, if you can't afford to get any of this expensive stuff or don't want to go through the process, probably not necessary. Um, but uh, everything's a subjective feel. So if it subjectively feels good to you while you're doing your whatever sport, um, sometimes a mental aspect is better than the actual physical. Um, so that's our, uh, that's our stories for today. 
Um, you know, so get a little massage, foam roll a little bit. Uh, if it feels good to you, wear your compression garment. Um, but, you know, none of it's necessarily absolutely necessary. And, of course, if you have any injuries that are keeping you from working out and doing what you want to do, uh, come see us at the Centennial Schultz Clinic. We specialize in treating musculoskeletal orthopedic injuries and trying to get your body to heal itself rather than doing drugs and surgery. Uh, stay tuned. You guys take care.